So, ladies and gentlemen, today we shall discuss what happens if your Atma Karka is in a particular house for all 12 houses. But before that, you need to know why at all should you watch this video. And even before that, you need to know what's Atma Karka. Atma Karka is the planet with the highest degree in the horoscope. And Atma Karka should be seen only in the Bhava Chalit chart, not in the Lagna chart. If you don't know Bhava Chalit chart, it is a chart which tells you which house a planet is placed. The Lagna chart only tells you which sign a planet is placed in. And if you have no idea of the Bhava Chalit chart, then please go to YouTube and type Exotic Astrology Bhava Chalit chart. B-H-A-V-A-C-H-A-L-I-T-C-H-A-R-T. <laughs> Bhava Chalit chart, please go and watch it and then you will know what is a Bhava Chalit chart, where can you find it, how can you download it absolutely for free. Alright, so please watch that video and in case you already know in which house your Atma Karta is placed in the Bhava Chalit chart, then you need to understand why should you know where Atma Karta is placed because the Atma Karta shows the soul's desire. So for example, suppose the chart is flowing in a particular direction, for example, Maybe the 10th house is very strong. The Lagna Lord is in the 10th or Sun, Moon, they are in the 10th and you know, uh, the fantastic career placements. But suppose the Atma Karaka for this person is sitting in the 5th house, then this person will not be able to be happy in a job which he or she does not like because the 5th house shows things which you like. So this could be a situation where you have a lot of name, fame, power position in your life but you are unhappy because you do not identify yourself. You do not like what you do. So this is the trait of the fifth house. So externally, you might have a lot of money and name fame, but internally you are very miserable because your fifth house is not activated. All right. So that is the reason why you should watch this video. And as usual, if you are new, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And for personalized consultations, you can always go to my website below. And if you want to share this video, you are most welcome with somebody who is concerned about their Atma Karak. Alright, so the Atma Karak is the planet with the highest degree and shows your soul's potential. So that means if your Atma Karaka is in your first house, you, you have to make decisions for yourself. You will not be happy if somebody else makes decisions for you, which means you may not like to listen to others, which is good or bad depending on how you make decisions but you have to make your own uh, you have to uh, make your own decisions you have to make your own life everything has to be individualistic everything has to be custom tailor made for you <laughs> only then you will be happy which can be problematic sometimes because everything in this world does not come uh, custom tailor made right but nonetheless you might want to shape the world uh, according to your views uh, which is which is again uh, debatable if it is good or bad it can uh, be very extreme sometimes could be issue could uh, lead to issues in your married life but in general this is a position which shows you need to stay true to yourself so don't do things you don't like don't stay with people you don't like don't do jobs which you absolutely hate because eventually you will fall you will fall down right so that's Atma Karka in the first house Number two, if Atma Karaka is in the second house of your Bhav Chali chart, then there will be a strong focus on family. Very, very, very important. So, if the Atma Karaka is in the second house, then I don't care how much money you have because I know even you don't. <laughs> because the Atma Karaka in the second house will make you very attached to the family. Now, if you had trauma in your childhood, if you had parents who were quarreling and they were divorced and you know, they were fighting all the time, then you may uh, develop, you know, uh, animosity with for your family and, you know, that will bother you very much. So, if the Atma Karaka is in the second house, therefore it is imperative. If you are a parent and your child has Atma Karaka in the second, then please understand that this person will, your child will identify with you and your spouse very strongly. So it's your duty to give them a good uh, family life and a good childhood, okay? And if you are a child and you have Atma Karka in second and your parents did not have a good married life, well, then uh, maybe you need to find somebody else uh, who are like your parents. You know, maybe you find the love of your life and, you know, you have children. 
or you have friends who are like family. Okay, so therefore, family is paramount for you and do not compromise your family, your family ideals for anything else or you will be very unhappy in life, all right? If Atpakaraka is in your third house, third house is the house of your siblings, your neighbors, acquaintances, third house is small talk, third house is you know, casual con contact communication and uh, it shows your courage, it can show short travels, it can show uh, a desire to express yourself. So you should not stay in a place where you cannot express yourself, where you cannot exert your ideals because if you stay in such a place you will feel choked up and you will feel like dying so therefore you should always put yourself in a place where uh, people want to appreciate you and hear you now this is a basic human need to be heard and appreciated but with atma karaka in third this is paramount okay so therefore if you are staying in a place where people are telling you to be somebody else oof your days are numbered in that place Okay, because you will not be happy. So, if you if you want to stay in a place, then that place should be a place where you are respected and you are not humiliated for being yourself. Okay, because third house shows very strong individuality. And express yourself, communicate. If you don't like things, speak it out. Don't cut things without even discussing. All right? So, very important placement. Now, if the Atma Karaka is in your fourth house, ooh, this is a very strong placement, very, very, very strong placement. The Atma Karaka in the fourth will give you very strong importance, uh, attachment towards your mother, you know, your family, your emotional security. You could be um, very strongly associating yourself with your motherland, your homeland. You know, strong attachment to property, comforts, real estate, vehicles. So anything that gives you stability and happiness and peace in life. So if your Atma Karaka is in fourth or as I said, even in the second, you know, family will be very important. Stability is something which you should always look for. So Atma Karaka in fourth or second, if you have a career which pays you a lot, but you uh, have to work 18 hours and you cannot focus on your family then you will be the most miserable person so do not choose a career that where you need to invest like you know 18 20 hours of your day and you are left with no time for your family it is imperative that you spend time with your loved ones and especially your mother and you aim for stability in life especially atma karaka in fourth because if you are going from one place to the other, you know, every six months you are changing your job, then after two, three years, you will feel left out, you will feel spaced out, okay? So therefore, it is imperative you try to stick to what you are doing and build things gradually, even for other areas of life, not just profession, all right? Number five, Atma Karaka in fifth. This is, in my opinion, this is the best placement to have, okay? So, you for you creative self-expression individuality is very important focus on children is very important you know focus on education love romance intelligence is very important the fifth house shows things that you love doing so needless to say don't stay with people you don't like it's it's very similar to atma karaka in third and in the first okay but the fifth house is more about creativity and energy and passion. So if you stay in a job where you cannot express yourself creatively to some extent at least, then, uh, well, uh, yeah, you won't stay there for very long, okay? So, or if you are getting married to somebody you don't want to, then the marriage will not last very long, okay? Atma Karaka in fifth, you cannot pretend for very long. The mask will fall off very soon. <laughs> so... Atma Karaka in fifth, you need to understand that you are meant to be yourself. Be yourself. Do things that you like, provided, of course, under the guidance of a guru and provided your activities don't contradict the word of, words of the scriptures, okay? I'm not saying just, you know, go around drinking alcohol and just be a womanizer and go around scamming other people financially. I'm not saying that. But within the realm of dharma, within the realm of the scriptures, Whatever is permitted, within that you are free to act and please act accordingly, all right? Atma Garga in sixth, 
Now, this is a very tricky position. This can be very good or it can be one of the worst placements. Arpakarka in sixth. You might you might be focusing too much on your enemies at times, which is not bad in a sense, but your life should not just become all about competition and enemies and animosity, okay, and trying to prove things to others. So, Atma Karka in six, your attitude should be that I do my best and then I leave the rest because six houses of the Sana house can give you troubles in life, right? So, Atma Karka in 6, the challenge is you might be too much controlling you, with yourself and also others. You might want to control your own time, other people, others' time, others' money, which is uh, not the best because the, that will make people run away from you. Okay, So therefore, Atma Karka in 6, you need to focus on your daily habits, focus on your daily routines, You know, take care of your health, keep a check on your enemies and Focus on having a schedule, proper schedule. Do not waste time. If you waste time, you will lose your mind. All right. Very important. Atma Karka in the seventh house. Marriage is marriage is paramount for you. I don't care who you are, how you look, how much money you have. If your married life is not good, then that's it. <laughs> so Atma Karka in seventh. Please don't rush for marriage. Now, of course, I'm not saying, you know, you, you are crossing your 30s, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. You're still like, oh, I'm waiting for my, you know, whatever, my dream girl or Prince Charming. I'm not saying that, okay? Try your best to get married at the earliest, but don't rush, okay? It, it could be any age, but don't rush, okay? Why? Because you, for you, if the marriage is good, your life may be like heaven. And if your married life is bad, everything else will collapse. So it 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 has no meaning and nothing else has any meaning in your life. Now you may think, oh, but I'm not like this. You know, but the moment you get married, you will realize this, okay? <laughs> so, so you will not realize this now. Maybe you are 25, 23, 18, 19, or maybe even 28 and you are watching this and oh, I don't feel like this at all. Wait, the moment you get married, bang on, that's like, <laughs> it will get activated, okay? So very important, Atma Karka in 7th, Give first priority to your marriage. Everything else can wait except your health and your spiritual life. So if you are staying in a marriage where your spiritual life is getting destroyed, your health is getting destroyed and overall you are going down, then maybe you need to uh, not stay there anymore. But apart from that, everything else, you know, your friends, family, everything is secondary. Your first priority should be your spouse and your married life. Only then you will be happy. All right. Now, Number eight, if Atma Karaka is in the Ashtam Bhav, Ashtam Han, eighth house, difficult one, you may focus too much on your uh, weaknesses or you may fall prey to addictions, okay? So, or you may be interested too much into, you know, like occult sciences, you know, conspiracy theories, hidden, hidden knowledge and all this. Now, this is not bad, but you have to understand that Atma Karka in 8 can sometimes always have this feeling that everyone else is abnormal because your because a person with Atma Karka in 8 can feel that okay why is everybody so different because you yourself are very different so therefore if you have Atma Karka in the 8th you might feel that you know things are a bit off sometimes. You know? Like for example, people are getting married in the late twenties. You may get married in forties. Okay, people are having children in thirties, twenties. You are having children in your fifties. So some things can feel a bit off. Okay, but it does not mean you are a bad person. At the same time, for this placement, it is non-negotiable that you need to have a spiritual master. You need to take diksha from a guru. Otherwise, you may be very confused and you may roam the entire world. You may roam the 14 planetary systems like a zombie without knowing anything. Because Atma Karka in the 8th can show us at a soul level you are lost sometimes. Okay? But at the same time, uh, this does not mean you are always lost. But surely, if you have this placement and the overall chart is not supportive and you don't have a guru, then you might be lost, all right? So please take care and try to take shelter of a bona fide spiritual master. 
Atma Karaka in the ninth house. Very, very, very amazing placement. This is, you know, like the fifth house. This is also a very amazing placement. So, Atma Karaka in the ninth, it can make you very philosophical for you. It is very important that before you get married or, you know, you have friendships or business partnerships, your vibe, your energy, your, you, you should match at a philosophical level. Not that, you know, both should be of the same, uh, both should believe in the same philosophy, not necessarily, but you need to be aligned mentally, intellectually. Otherwise, what happens is you will feel, oh, you know, it's not working. You know, we are not able to get along. We are not able to go ahead. Okay. And it is also very important with this placement that you have great relationships with your gurus, uh, your spiritual master, your diksha guru especially, because that will help you. And depending on your chart, your relationship with your father could be a bit intense. You know, it could be very positive or very negative. Okay. So, if there are malefics in the ninth, then uh, your relationship with your father could start, uh, be, uh, there could be some strain there, okay? Or if there are benefits, you may uh, take a lot of inspiration from your father, all right? But nonetheless, uh, do your best and try to seek guidance from your guru wherever required, all right? Then, Atma Karka in the tenth house. As much as I would love to say this is a great placement, but one danger is it can make you very narcissistic. It can make you addicted to success. Now, it does not mean if you have Atmogarga in 10th, you will always be successful. But the problem with this placement is the moment you get any success in life, you start feeling yourself as somebody superior and you look down on others and you bully others. Okay, So therefore, if you have success in your life, in any area of life, then Please be respectful and kind and cordial to others. Uh, don't treat others others as animals. <laughs> and don't think you are like the you know star because you may be the star, but for some time, right? God is the only star and nobody else. <laughs> that is why the scriptures say this about Krishna. Lord Krishna is known as Nayakaram Shironi, which means he is the hero of all the heroes. He is the leader, he's the boss of all the heroes because he's supreme personality of Godhead, so I'm Bhagwan. So therefore, you need to understand that this is a great placement if you want to put all eggs into your profession, go all in, you know, earn money, there's a fantastic placement, maybe the best placement in Kaliuga at this point because everybody wants, you know, name, fame, power, position, authority, but at the same time, people may start disliking you because of your narcissism and your your animalistic traits, okay? So, do not use other people and do not abuse others, okay? Now, Atma Garaka in the 11th, well, again, one of the best placements after the 5th, 9th, 10th, this is one of the best placements in the chart. For you, it is very important that you think long term because if you think short term, oof, life can be difficult for you. So, Atma Karka in the 11th, you will think, oh, you know, it's in the house of gains, I'll always make gains. But I will tell you, bang on, you check this with anybody. Atma Karka in the 11th, the moment you think short term, you will, it will backfire. You will suffer miserably. Okay. So, if you think, oh, maybe, you know, I can put money into some, you know, penny stock or meme coin or, you know, some scam and you know in 21 days it will double you know 21 din mein paisa double 7 din mein double 7 days it double then well you are mistaken okay so this can be a great placement if you want long term wealth you know long term name fame power position very 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 amazing placement maybe among all the 4, 5, 9, 10, 11 this is the best placement so congratulations if you have this you know what to do in life you know what will give you gains, but don't screw it by thinking short term, all right? Last but not the least, very important, Atma Karaka in 12th house could be a difficult placement or a very good placement. Difficult in the sense, if your trines are good, then, uh, sorry, if your trines are not good, then this can make you run towards addictions and, you know, you, you might do things which you should not do in general, okay? But, if your trines are supportive, then this can be a placement where you are very detached. You do things, but you are not obsessed with the results, okay? So, therefore, 
you need to understand that this is a very interesting placement. It could go either ways. Either I get too attached and then when there is attachment, I I suffer because, you know, life takes things away from you, right? Or I be detached and naturally I give donations and I let people have their own space and do whatever they want and I don't try to control others and that is how we become uh, spiritually elevated also you know, by cultivating detachment and of course by reading the scriptures associating with uh, sadhus and by doing our spiritual practices diligently. All right. Thank you so much. If you are new then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please comment below what is where is your Atma Karka placed, which house and which sign it is in. All right. Please take care. Jai Siyara.